Hello guys, it's me Tough Dog, and yes, I am filming an episode of Zoo Tycoon. Now I have made another change, and that change is basically I have decided to change the naming system a bit. I am now going to be going through the whole alphabet through A to C. Now that's what I've been doing. So if you see various different lines named whatever. Now what this also means is whatever cubs are born to their fathers, I am going to name them after the same letters as their fathers or if the father has died then after their mother. So that's really how things now work. It keeps it varied because for a moment I thought yes I can name the lines beginning with I but again that started getting boring but let's get into it because we might as well Ivan has grown up from young to adult. Now the only disadvantage about this is that um hold on uh, the only disadvantage about that is we're not going to necessarily always know what animals are pregnant, what animals are giving birth, but it's going to make it a lot easier. So we've got lines 71 and 70. Lan. Oh. So we've got two babies born already. Ib. That's one of my favourite names. It's just a simple name, Ib. But I was hoping. It would just make things a bit simpler and maybe a bit interesting because we can see what uh, letters stick, what letters, for example, uh, all the L's, like say if Lan was to have one, then his um, children would be named after the letter L. And same with all the animals, so it's not just going to be the lions, it's going to be all the others. And I'm going to try and wash everyone. But, oh my gosh, you had a baby elephant charger. How dare they? Isaiah has just grown up, that is a baby lion. I think the Ziggy has got that. I apologise if my voice is a bit... Hold on. I apologise if my voice is a bit rough because it is um, quite warm at the moment. I've tried to open the window, try to cool down. Oh gosh, William. My goodness. Don't do this to me, William. Okay, we've got to save William. Or I could just leave him there. I do wonder, this is a very weird thought, I do wonder, like, could you... What would happen if you didn't go to save them? Would they actually drown? I don't think they would, because... Um, this is a child's game, or it's marketed towards kids, and kids could play it. So I don't think they could do that. However, they do have death in it. So, maybe? Not quite sure. Maybe. It could be a possibility. Ragnar. I'm hoping that I haven't um, had any duplicate names. Alice. What is wrong with Alice? She's just not looking after herself. I think she's keeping herself preoccupied with feeding all the babies. But she isn't taking care of herself like she should be as well. Olga's now pregnant, that is an ostrich. Yes, she's an ostrich. Todd, Amber. He's cleaning up loads of different things. York? Uh, York. That was an ostrich, yes. York. That was one we saw actually literally at the start of the episode. So I'm hoping this naming system will again make things more interesting because there's over 100 animals. And that is just nuts. I mean. I, I said in one of my videos, I, I, I don't think we can reach a hundred, that's not possible. But I'm quite surprised the animals are alright with the amount of space. Because there's, um, I know this is a big biome, this is large, but I was expecting to have not complaints and I was not expecting a motorbike to go past <laughs> as I was saying that. But yes, I, I am shocked that these guys are surprising me very much. Bradwa is now pregnant. Didn't Bradwa just grow up? Didn't he just grow up into a young adult? My goodness. There's so many, so many animals. It's crazy. But what will help? But um, using the naming system I can roughly tell who was um, here when and who maybe is going to pass first which is um, I would say ultra handy but maybe if um, 
an animal nearer the end of the um, alphabet. There's something going on. It's alright, I've got ostrich 50. I've got it. Are you chasing that big ostrich? I believe you are. Or not? I hope not, because it's getting chased by a little ostrich. A little baby ostrich. Um, probably not great. Alice is really fussy. Alice! Is that... You're looking for something to drink? Or... Yeah. What I might do, actually, though, I might move the webcam for next episode so it's on the top left instead of the top right where it is now make things a bit easier and I've just I've, I've, I've just filled that back up again right, I'm waiting until you finish eating and find it again and don't trample on the ostriches okay yeah everyone's finished eating oh my gosh there is I put, why did I need to take one? There's animals everywhere now. My goodness me. Ostrich 53 has hatched. But I'm not too afraid about names too much anymore. I'm actually quite excited. But yes, Irene has grown from young to adult. That's the lion. So many births and everything. I don't think I'm ever going to include a title. Loads of deaths and births anymore because... Every episode there was plenty of those. Oh my gosh. Olga, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be there. I need to sort this, these, these messes out. I don't know what that zookeeper is doing. There's so much mess around here. Someone's got to sort it out soon. I don't think every every zookeeper is working hard. I know some zookeepers are doing well and are cleaning up but li literally that zookeeper is surrounded by poop. Maybe or maybe they're just doing other jobs apart from um apart from cleaning up the poop. Maybe they're leaving me to do the dirty jobs. Maybe. That could be the reason why. They're leaving me to do the dirty jobs that they don't want to do. Imagine that, just then speaking to each other. Sophie's now pregnant. Oh my gosh. Nicole. Summer's now pregnant. Isabella has grown up. As I said, there's so much going on, especially in this middle bit here. There's so many animals. I mean, I'm surprised these male lions are so happy living side by side, which I said is great. I was expecting at least one fight or one disagreement. Well, they, they seem to just be content with living with one another, which is fine, but it's weird. Oh, um, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, yesterday I uploaded finally um, the next episode of Pokemon Platinum. Now that won't, the next episode one won't come out until I've trained up my Pokemon. And also, it won't come until I get some batteries. I should be able to buy some tomorrow. So the batteries aren't a problem. I just wanted you guys to know that the next episode might take a little bit. And since I'm starting college next week, I'm hoping to get the episode out before I start college. So at least I, I've defeated the last gym. Because, as I said to you guys, um, once I get to college, that's going to be first priority. And there may not be as many videos, but I'm going to try my best to upload about once a week. I would say it really depends on how college goes and what the work's like. I know it's going to be hard. Oh, funny. Um, but yes, um, I did try and use the film, Filmora software yesterday. But unfortunately, I think I've got the demo version. I think what happens with the demo version is they plastered a logo right in the middle of the screen throughout the whole video. If it was for if it was for just a little part of the video, I wouldn't have mind. But I delete that video as soon as possible and I um, edited it in Windows Filmmaker again, which is obviously the one I use. It's really simple to use, but I do want to find the software. I do 
want to find a software where I can just a more advanced one. I mean, I have a rough, well, I have a pretty good idea. I probably have to pay for it. I don't think there's any free ones that are good. I know um, there's another one I tried to use. I can't remember the name of it. Um, I mean, Filmora is a really good software, and I would use it. But it's just the whole logo thing in the middle that just puts me off. And I don't know how much it is um, for the full version. But if um, it's not too much, I might get it. It might be worthwhile getting it. Oh, what was the other one? I've oh, I had it on the tip of my tongue. Um, oh, gosh. Um, Camista Studio, that's it. Um, that's a good one as well. But when I looked at the full price of it, it was 200 something pounds. No, uh uh, no, no, one, I probably wouldn't be paying for it, my mum would, or my parents, but I wouldn't want, I wouldn't ask them to pay £200 for software, yes, I'd probably use a lot, but just for YouTube, if it was for a college course or something, say if I took filmmaking, then possibly, but since this is just for fun, and I do want to advance the channel forward, I don't think they're going to be very um, happy with paying that much. And also since Windows Filmmaker does work, but sometimes it has a tendency to crash when you're um, inserting big videos. For example, when I edit my Pokemon videos, sometimes it crashes a couple of times before it finally uh, does the job. But that's not even before I convert the file into the right format to upload it onto YouTube. That is the part where usually it will crash at least once. Cinnamon is now present now. I did name that one Cinnamon but with an S so I thought it was quite cute. Alfie has just grown from... Oh hold on, Alfie the elephant. Let's go find him. Let's go find Alfie the elephant. Oh my goodness, you're huge. Wrong button. You're huge now, Alfie. My goodness. Stop growing up so fast. Stop it. <laughs> I say stop it, but I can't do anything. Can't do anything. But I'm not going to say what I was thinking. Ragnar. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Hold on, is there any water nearby? Lee. Oh, no. Oh gosh, all the generations are passing on now. Now I meant to do that. I meant to do that. I need to stick to my own rules. I need to. This is the hardest part: seeing animals saying they're thirsty or hungry, and the only thing you can really do is just set out food and hope they see it and eat from it. Um, usually, if uh, animals tell me they're thirsty, I would pick them up and put them next to a river or I put a food bowl right next to them. But I can't do that with these guys. I can put rivers down but I think we've got enough at the moment and I really don't want to put too many down anymore unless it's more to the back of the um, place, more where the desert is because there's not too many there, just a big long river. Billy is going to give birth. Hold on. Yes, I did name a line cup Fiona because I got to F and I thought that is a lovely name, so Alright Lily. I'm here for you. I'm here and there's this spot. You can't see it anymore because it's pretty much gone. But I have a horrible habit of picking at it for hate spots. Oh my gosh. Okay, I forgot to check the gender of um the ones that were born at the beginning of this episode. So let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Do, 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 do. This might take a bit of scrolling down. Oh my gosh, this number's getting ridiculous. So it's 72. See, this is how long it's taking. I'm just scrolling down the list. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Oh, we've got a boy and we've got a girl. Awesome. Boy and a girl. 
Liam has died of old age. Oh look, you got a friend. Yeah, I'm a little bit sad, but not too sad. You got friends? Go play with your friends. Let's check up on Ostrich 54. Alice. Looking for something to eat or drink, it's right in front of your face. Please don't do this. See? He's fine. Why don't you just eat? Or drink? Please? This is annoying me. Now. Come on. Hello. I don't think we're going to be able to do um, much. She's she doesn't seem to be too bothered about much. Hoping we can help her. I don't like sort of seeing her just standing there and not eating or drinking. I don't like it. I don't want to see her like that. I want to see her happy and healthy. I think that applies with any of these guys. No, I don't like to see them go hungry or not want to eat. I think it's, as I said before, I think it's because she's been feeding all those elephant babies. Maybe she's been feeding the others that aren't hers, but she's sort of taking on the role of surrogate mum, maybe for not just her own one, but for the others. Oh my gosh, look at this set. We've got two lions. And we've got... Ah, sorry, one lion, two ostriches. Alice, Alice. I can't do much. I can't... I can't keep on healing you. I don't get what's wrong with you, Alice. Come on, just take a drink. Ignore the ostriches, ignore everything, just go get a drink. Please drink. I'm so glad I can heal as one of the interactions of this challenge, because if I couldn't, she might have died by now. Ostrich 50 has grown from young to adult. Oh gosh. It's alright, I'll name you. You shan't be known as Ostrich 50 for much longer. You will be known as someone better soon. I do wonder because the ostriches seem to be living on for a very long time and I'm just wondering how long they live for in this game because I guess I've kind of lost track how long. Oh, thank goodness. She's eating. Okay, Nicole's now pregnant. Thank goodness she's eating. Good. Didn't want her to get her all right yeah she's all right with hunger she just needs to go find something to drink and hopefully soon come on alice all right <laughs> I don't get how you've done that if you haven't drunk any water in a while. There, look, you've got the floating elephant there. Over there. Floating elephant. Okay, well, why don't we just leave each other alone and try and get on with our own lives, shan't we? Shan't we? I need to... Hold on! Rexy's really thirsty. Irene is now pregnant. This is going nuts. Absolutely bonkers. Yes, I know. It's horrible. It's horrible being in such a nasty... Levy has died. My goodness me. <laughs> this sucks. Everything sucks. Luto oh my gosh, there's so many lions dying. But then to be fair, they were born pretty close to each other. Oh gosh, this this annoys me because I haven't had a chance to get to know them and now they've passed on. This is, as I said, one of the things that annoys me the most is they've passed on now so I never get the chance to get to know the animals again. And I think I've beaten this zookeeper to all the, he, all the mess. He keeps on heading to the same mess as me. Again, I never thought I'd say that in my life. That a zookeeper is heading to the same mess as I am. I never thought I'd be saying that. 
Ophelia has laid eggs. I think Ophelia is one of the ones that has had a few babies already because I know her name's popped up. Santo, that is an ostrich, I believe, because the ostriches were the last to be named. So I believe that is an ostrich that has grown from young to adult. Look at those two. See, they're, see, they're fine. They're stand, they were standing in the water. Hold on, did he? I saw a Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry, Paul. Lady's going to give birth. Well, I'm sorry. Lady, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't be there for you. I've got to keep this exhibit, you know, nice and clean. You know, since the sea keepers are a bit overwhelmed and I don't want to hire anymore, I know I can... What? What? Ivan! Oh no. Really? I had to name him Ivan. Like the, Out of all the lions that could have attacked another. Ivan. Don't walk off like that. You just killed another lion. Everything was going so well. I know I was going how it's unusual no one's attacked anyone yet. But doesn't mean I fucking wanted you to. No, that is just not cool. That is not funny. It's not cool at all. Why? You've got enough females. I mean, just look in this one little space. Georgie. Georgia. Oh my gosh. I, hold on. I forgot your Georgia was pregnant. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. We've got another baby. Sable antelope. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we haven't had one in ages. Yes. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy now. I'm happy. I mean, all the other babies, there's been a lot of other babies, but we haven't had a giant save as I've been so long. And that just proves they're, they're, they're not leaving quite yet. They're, they're, not, they're not ready to go. They're, they're going to stay here, which is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Come on, you better stay close to your mum. There's so many lions walking around. I'd hate to be in your shoes. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's got a little glitch. I think there's a lot of these glitches going on with the giant table antelope now because ever recently all the ones that have been born have had that same glitch where their fur glitches out to a black part of it. Oh, look, there we are. Oh, through 52. Yes, Israel, at least you don't go around killing fellow lions. At least you're decent. I'm like Ivan. No. I think the only other animal that has killed a rival was um, the cheetah. Oh, Ocean. Oh my gosh. I didn't realise Ocean was that old. I remember. I remember. Oh, Layla. Oh my gosh. I remember naming Ocean. And maybe it was longer than I remembered it being. But I remember naming her and thinking, oh, Ocean's such a nice name to name any animal. Rebecca's really thirsty. I'm coming Rebecca, just let me clear this up first and then I shall help you. Rebecca, don't you want to go get some water? Okay, you're sleeping, good. Alright, hopefully when she wakes up she can go get some water. Ostrich 58, oh my gosh, I keep on forgetting how many eggs there are. Last time when I left it at, when I started this episode, I think there was two or three eggs to be hatched. Oh, 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 better um, leave you two to it then. Better leave you two lion lovers to it. Lion lovers, that is a, lion lovers, la 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 la. That must have been Ivy over there then. Um, Opal's now pregnant. At least we're getting a lot of nice notifications now. We're not getting... Red. So we're getting a lot of greens, but our two, um, that is, that is, that is not a lion, that is an African elephant, ooh, one of our other ones have grown up, oh my goodness, so we've got two more babies to grow up, grow up I believe, we've got Alfie, 
just had you grow up so I think we have two more elephants yep there's one still elephant baby I remember when they were first born they all started chasing each other I think it was it was either Alfie or one of the females started chasing one of the evils literally immediately after she or he was born. I, I can't remember if it was a boy or a girl. I'm pretty sure it was a girl that got chased immediate after, immediately after she was born. It was aggressive, it was friendly. There we are, there's the other baby. Raymond. Oh, that's Giraffe. Yep. What's wrong with Lindsay? Oh. Yep, we need to help Lindsay out here. We need to help everyone out here. Yes, we do. Lola's now pregnant. Abdulia is now pregnant. There's so many pregnancies going on. I might as well do a whole pregnancy montage at this point. <laughs> might as well, because this is where it's going. This is honestly when it's going. Where it's going. When. When is it going? It's going now. We need to go save this ostrich. Actually, you're alright, I think. Nicole has given birth. Oh, gosh. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Hey, is this your baby? Yeah, it is. Is this your baby? Yes, I believe it is. It's your baby. Oh, who's their father? Uh, I saw is their father, so I shall name you after I... Hold on, you need to help Ostrich 51. Katie, I believe that's a lion, I believe. Yes, I do believe it's a lion. That's just growing up. Ostrich 56 is growing up. Look at all these eggs. Letitia is now pregnant. I am overwhelmed. I would not be surprised at all if we reach 200. That scares me, that number. I thought 100 scared me, but 200 just pet makes me petrified. I wonder if there's a world record for the uh, most amount of animals in a suit hiking game. I doubt that there's a re world record for it, and what rules you would have to follow to... Oh my gosh, okay. Blackie is now pregnant. Oh, my little Blackie is pregnant. Yes, our little Blackie, that's what I have decided. My little Blackie Wacky. I love that name. It's such a sweet name. Yuxi. Yuxi is the um, ostrich. Gabo is really thirsty. Well, we've got to help Gabo out. He's a good old friend from this walkthrough. He's a lovely, he's a lovely animal. I've had no problems with him and he's so sweet as well. I think Gabba can take care of himself. I mean, he hasn't been reliant on me for much. I don't think the giant stable antelopes have been that, um, have had, well, they haven't had me do a lot for them. They sort of just got on with living their lives, and I haven't had many calls about helping them out. Ravi, okay, yeah, we need to groom you. We need to just keep you nice and clean. Because this is going to be a problem. Big problem. Alright, so it looks like the sun is going to set soon. Like it does all the time. Oh my goodness, right. Yeah, this mess. Congratulations, Opal. I think... Maybe I could regret saying it. Things are going a bit calm. Yes, things are sort of not settling down because I don't think they're going to settle down anytime soon. But I think, okay, maybe not. Amanda is now pregnant. My gosh, you can't stop, can you? <laughs> the only way the lions could stop at this moment is as is if every cub that was born now was either male or female but even if that happened I'm sure there would be others from the next generation that is, aren't related to them the problem is I don't think many of the lions are related to each other because when I started the cubs Aslan was the only father but because that formula turned out so much better than expected it's actually been it's, it's been insane basically it's just been insane 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help out Austria 51 first. We're really hungry. Well, I'm pretty sure there's something nearby. Pretty sure there was. We could just go down that slope there. Maybe I could help you out. Even I, I should know these controls. This is bad. Right, I'm going to set this out. And I'm going to end the episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really happy actually the giant saber antelope was born because I get so used to having all these births. It's nice to have a birth that um, is special because I don't really call, I mean all births are special but it's nice to have one that's sort of really special and I shall name them all before I start the next part. Wish me luck. I think I, the last animal I named was X so we've got Y and Z to go and then we'll go back to A. Oh no actually I was going to name them after their parents. Darn it, okay, we're going to hopefully not have any double names when I name them, but I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time for the next episode.